The use of alternative fuels like ethanol, electricity, and compressed natural gas in passenger cars has increased by 300% over the past decade, accounting for more than 7% of total fuel use. There really isn't going to be a silver bullet to replace gasoline going forward. There's just not one powertrain or one fuel source that fits all. So what we're going to see as a, as a future for alternative fuels is the proper application at the proper place and times. So there's going to be a lot to choose from. We're going to figure out which one works best in any application, and then we'll use it. Ethanol, whether used as a low-level blend in gasoline or dispensed as E85, is a homegrown alternative with lower emissions. Electricity can come from renewable sources such as wind and solar. And here at the Chicago Auto Show, Chevrolet introduced a compressed natural gas Bifuel Silverado HD. Bifuel just means it, it, it is a, this truck is able to run on both gasoline or on CNG. So if it if the CNG runs down, it'll switch over to run on gasoline and you can switch it back and forth. A fleet driver may be out there driving, you know, 26,000 miles a year, and you look at the savings of, of CNG, which is about 62% of the price of gasoline, they can save up to $2,000 a year. Compressed natural gas is clean. It is domestically produced and we love it. Uh, with the Forest Preserve District, we make a commitment to sustainability. Uh, anything to clean the air and the environment, uh, we, we uh, go 100%. In addition to looking at alternative fuels, business fleets are also looking at reducing their fuel costs by right-sizing their vehicles to better fit their jobs. What our customers are looking for in a small commercial van can be seen right here. A lot of cargo space in the back, about 123 cubic feet of space, doors, sliding doors that open on both sides, a low step in height, and easy access to their cargo from the sidewalk. At the Chicago Auto Show, I'm Chris Hansen.